I think it was 2011. We made our first augmented reality uh, zoo animal. We had an elephant that kind of popped out on the screen and you could click on different buttons and it would tell you what the elephant ate and what the, how big it was and how much water it drank every day. We did a study at the San Antonio Zoo and what they found was that there was a very significant difference in presenting information and presenting information in an inquiry way, type of way. Um, there was almost, I think, a 30 point difference on, on a 0 to 100 grading scale um, of information that they remembered after, the, after they participated. So what we've been doing now is we've been moving into museums and we've uh, just completed a big dinosaur exhibit and you can kind of go up to these different dinosaurs, point your iPad at these markers and learn about the different dinosaurs, how they moved, how they walked, how they, what they ate. The reaction of people at the Whitney Museum when they use this application and stuff like that is really good. I mean, kids will stand in front of this one exhibit that we have where you hatch these little dinosaur eggs. They'll stand there for 30 minutes and hatch these eggs. It's amazing. There's a line there just for kids to like hatch eggs. I saw one kid hatching two at a time, like using two iPads <laughs> at once to, to play with it. I mean, I think we have a real opportunity to, to really look at how we can educate people. It's a cool project. People like working on this project. I mean, I've loved it. It's dinosaurs. It's really cool. I've learned, I mean, I didn't know that velociraptors had feathers that were attached to their bones through ligaments and they had these like, you know, you learn all kinds of weird, strange things. Did you know T-Rexes had feathers? Yeah, I didn't either. Because of our sound department and our production department, we have access to amazing cameras and lights and, and all kinds of video uh, production type of things. Film production quality, really, video is kind of not the right word to describe what we do here. Um, and so we can implement all these things into our technology. You know, we have, we have really high-end 3D animators and visual effects artists here that do really great work. And so being able to incorporate that with this product has been really cool because it's kind of a big mishmash of all these really great technologies and really great things all combined into one which has kind of made it a cool project you know and it's kind of given it a lot of value.